Saludos amigos, bienvenidos al Paddy TV. Estamos aquí con Lester Quiñones, señores, de la selección de República Dominicana en el Palacio de los Deportes. Eh, ¿Qué puedes decir de tu experiencia aquí? Uh, I'm just uh, excited to be here uh, with these guys. We're in camp right now. Everybody's working hard, uh, getting ready to go. Um, excited for the, the scrimmage that we have on Wednesday for the fans to be here. Uh, it'll be my first time playing in front of the fans and everybody here, and it's a great opportunity. Okay, ¿Qué, qué opinas de, de tus compañeros, eh, por ejemplo, jugar o practicar con Eloy, Eloy Vargas, Víctor Liz y todos ellos? Mm -hmm. uh, all of them. Uh, them kind of being older guys, they're being more, more seasoned and more like veterans. I feel like they've been here for a while, so they, they teach me some stuff that I have to learn to kind of adjust to the game with uh, FIBA being different from the NBA, the rules and the ball and everything. Uh, they kind of help me adjust and, and walk me through plays and they... they um, They also speak a little English, so it's easy for me to uh, communicate with them. <laughs> bueno, sí. Eh, quiero que sepan que los fanáticos, él entiende el español, pero prefiere hablarlo, eh, pero prefiere responder en inglés. Hola, eso, eso te lo veo bien. Igual yo, yo, yo entiendo el inglés, uh -huh. pero prefiero hablarlo en español para no pasar vergüenza. Eh, Lester, háblanos un poco de, de la experiencia ya en Golden State. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a great experience, kind of um, just being there with guys like Clay Thompson, Stephen Curry, Draymond Green. Uh, those type of legends and, and just household names. Uh, it's the same thing here. Them kind of being older, they just teach me a lot. I ask a lot of questions. I try to uh, work out with them as much as I can, do everything that they do, and I just watch them a lot and try to learn. Um, I, I say it a lot in most of my interviews. I try to be a sponge and just soak up as much as I can from them because uh, those guys are greatness. And just to be, be there in that presence and now to add guys like Chris Paul there is just even more amazing and, and just easier for me to kind of get the advantage on other younger guys. Bueno, mencionaste también eh, tres figuras muy importantes de Golden State que son emblemáticas. ¿Qué es compartir con ellos allá? Um, I'm excited. I feel like uh, coming here to play for the World Cup, um, playing here, I feel like it'll, it'll kind of get me more prepared because uh, we'll go straight from where we, uh, Philippines and then I'm going to go straight to training camp there with them. So I feel like uh, I'll be prepared, I'll be in shape and I'll be ready to go and like I said, learn as much as I can from them. Yo quisiera, yo sé que algo en español que, que, que tú le digas a los fanáticos, no sé si se puede, si no en inglés, pero si se puede, quiero que, que ellos vean ese español dominicano que te sale. Oh, que lo que mi gente dominicano um, es muy orgulloso para estar aquí y um, eso es. Está bien, ya completé en inglés. Sí, okay. that's it, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Uh, It's not that I don't speak Spanish, it's just a little bit. I just have to remember it. So I feel like uh, I wish I could be here longer so I could learn it a little bit more, but it's better now. And uh, like I said, um, I love it here. It's amazing. This is my country. I love to represent them. I love the food. I love the fans. I love everything here. And it's just amazing. Cuando hablas de la comida, ¿cuáles son las comidas que te gustan? ¿Cuál es la cultura que te gusta de aquí de Dominicana? Mm, yesterday, breakfast, I had uh, salami, mofongo. Um, con cebolla, aguacate. Ah, no, yeah. <laughs> mm, it was uh, I went to somebody's house, a friend here, so it was homemade. His mom made it, so okay. In la casa. <laughs> y el pica pollo? Ah, uh, no, I have to try that. Okay. Uh -huh. Bueno, pues muchas gracias, Lester, por tu tiempo. <laughs>